I'm going to be looking at a couple of games from a gold Orisa player. Try to give them some, some tips and advice on what to do. I've already watched through all these games, so I kind of have an idea of where your gameplay needs improvement and what aspects of it are good. The first game you run the run a bastion solo tank. Okay. Your comps are always gonna kinda be a little bit weird and gold. Your Good use of that short cut. The short cut. When you play Rissa, that's gonna get you back to point a lot faster even though you mess up the jump. <laughs> That's Deutsch. Nah, no, sorry man. Oh, okay. Just speak English. Yeah, yeah. You do use mic and you comms, so that's good. Nobody wants to play second tank. <laughs> Apparently not. So right now you're stuck in gold. I think that the, the easiest way for you to get out of gold and, and, and get into platinum is if you focus on cooldown management because you waste your cooldowns way too much You're gonna see that, right? and you fortify and you don't really need to because their Hammond's coming in and the whole team's still back at the bottom of the steps so they're not even really ready to fight so you're not really fortifying and you're slow, you're slow on the halt. If you would have halted, you would have halted him sooner, you wouldn't have had his momentum to get out, your brigade could have stunned him, and there's a chance to get to kill him. Bastion just slow left of the choke. So, since I think your cooldowns are the biggest kind of what's holding you back from progressing. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I, I'm going to be pointing it out like every time I see when you just kind of waste the cooldowns and you realize uh, how often you're doing it without having any value. You see these pulls of the time. done no damage to you and he's a Hammond so he doesn't really put out a lot of damage you're not really at any risk here but you fortify and then you leave. so you kind of used fortify to be like hey I'm not worth your time which isn't a good use of fortify fortify when you're about to die when you know the situation is if I don't use it I'm going to die but your aim is fine, the, the, the gun's not easy to see, so it's hard to like practice when you have another cooldown if you You recognize you fortified, good. You recognize you have a drop, you position with your team, but you shield right away. So now that shield's getting no value. The second you drop down, you are out of line of sight, you are out of you were in no immediate danger anymore, so you should have just held on to shield till you made this full rotation, till you completely set up in your new position, and then you should have reshielded here. Right that would have saved you from almost Genji on point. and actually yeah. dying. So when, when you're playing Rusty, you gotta think about like, positioning is key with her, cause you can't, you have no mobility. So you kind of have to realize, like, when you sit up on top, top of that first point there, when you're just kind of spamming them, that's good. But you have to, like, have in the back of your mind, like, when we get overrun, this is 
this is position two. I'm gonna I'm gonna swing here, place my shield over here, like you know, calm, let my team know, hey, let's just fall back to point on this one if you get overrun. <laughs> I don't like the alt. The alt there. It feels like they can be bladed, so you just hit your alt. And your alt can be panicked. And when you should have held it, because if the Genji bladed and killed your whole team, you want to save it for for the second point. Otherwise, they could play snowball. Uh, Bloody mechanics, 6 4 5. Yep, just kind of jamming in your face. No, best thing up top. And it's gold, so everybody wants to run back. You just kind of have to learn to deal with that until... Until hopefully you can make it out. We've high ground see, behind you. Fingers with him, maybe. You see weird comps a lot less. On my side. It gets kind of easier in that regard. so, so bad. Bad. But until then, you just kind of gotta go with it. See the one tracer, one tracer came in and you fortified, cause you, cause you knew you were that she could shoot you and you take damage, but it would, but it's not enough to kill you. So it doesn't really have any value. Bastion's gonna come up top again. That's just the one thing. You you focus on working on that. Let's see if that pulse had hit you there, stuck you. Then then you'd fortify. That'd be a great opportunity to fortify. You know. But if you work on Behind us, Bastion. Like everything else is really bad. Right, see, your 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 target priority is perfect. Perfect. You're shooting the Zen. You know you want to kill the Zen. You healed, and the the Bastion's shooting you. And you know it. Fortify. Perfect use of fortify. But you stay on the Zen until the Zen's dead, and then you switch. Yeah. See, all Best of that. Bastion up the top. You know, Bastion usually target priority. Junk right up top now. But I like that you stay on the. All your mechanics are this, your shield dancing is good. When people are fighting you and on top of you, you know what to do when you're doing it. You know what to do Nice. On attack, I already know that you play Reinhardt. Solo tank? I know. I don't yeah, think he stays hammered. Yeah. 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 It's, it's attack. We only need to get further to the point. Solo tank from Reinhardt. Um, that thing. Bastion's gonna need a shield, though, isn't he? Because Reinhardt needs a lot of support. He needs oh, support. I wanted to go he May. That's Matrix or, or high healing to try to get him oh, into okay. the fight. Because until, until Reinhardt's. Able to do fun Reinhardt things. He just kind of has to slowly walk at people. So you need a lot of support. So I like to play Hammond or Rissa if you're going to solo tank. Because they don't require a lot of resources. Hammond and Rissa don't need a lot of healing. They don't really need a lot of other off. They have a Widowmaker, so front door's probably a bad idea. This is great. This is like super, super high level thinking. Like, nobody in gold does this, is, hey, let's not walk through the choke, let's not walk through all that damage that they're gonna put us They might have a Widow, there's no, there's no point in just dying like that. So this is great, I, I love this from your Reinhardt already. You're saying, hey team, just go this way, avoid, avoid all that damage, don't give them that all the time. May kill him. It's just being main tank. That's nothing you can really do about that. Good fire strike, like in the mechanics and in, in how you're playing. And 
I do want to talk about it now. Three groups. Alright. Bastion's so gone gold, high ground. Just kind of trickle in and trickle all the time. Soldiers like, coming over. Oh, four, maybe we'll push in. Just wait. Just wait for full six. Wait. If you do that, that cooldown management. If you f try to. Go on, get Bastion on the corner now, down there. Six, six versus six. And let the enemy trickle and let the enemy stagger. All these groups. And sometimes your team won't respond. Bastion's low. Sometimes your team won't respond. And. But we your front. And. and people listen 10% of the time, then that's 10% of the more games you'll win. Because you're fighting at 60. Bastion's low. So this... This is all fine and not... I mean, this is... This is being a Reinhardt, I guess, and... This this is what it feels like to play Reinhardt without support, without team... in the comms with you, so... Shield dies, try to go down to do something. Bastion's low. Really not really I am claiming the objective. <laughs> Thanks. You, you do you do wait you do wait and you do regroup <laughs> you regroup which is good thanks and you just kind of stand there because you're waiting for your team and your team doesn't understand that you need to go to the choke you're trying to help them which is good it just it's I know it's just, I think if you calm a little bit more, it'll help situations like this, because I know gold is just full of this, when you're like, you want to go left, and you have Genji just standing in main forever, and then, and then the people, the people on the left, like, Reaper's like, Reaper's ready to go in, you know, and you're like, standing here waiting for them, and then, then you get confused, you're like, okay, maybe they'll catch up, I'll go, and then you're in a weird, you're Reinhardt in the middle of your team, and you have a Genji behind you, so just, Little comms just being like, as Reinhardt, say like, stack up on me, uh, group with me, like, let's let's just all go left, something like that, just, just cause if somebody on your team's just autopiloting and just standing there and just throwing ninja stars, like maybe they'll, that'll get in their head like, oh, let's, let's go, let's go left. You just kinda charge in, and play Reinhardt, try to avoid using charge. Bastion's on the corner of the point. You, you're completely separated for your team. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's not, there's not too much fellas. You guys win. Any point in the fight, in the game. Not bad. There's not really too much advice I can give on Reinhardt when you're not, when, it's, when you have a weird comp like this. And, we just yeah, focus on regroups yeah, and, and, and pathing group. as Reinhardt, <laughs> trying to get your whole team to go one direction. Oh, well done, bud. I'm drinking a little bit. So, I'm gonna take a minute. I'm going to... I'm gonna take a minute to kind of go over some... Some Alyssa tips. Your safety is my primary concern. So fortify. Try to save it. Because I know Alyssa has 400 health. And it feels like she's lower. Your own safety? Get behind the barrier. But half of it's armor. And you have fortify. I don't really need a fortify. It's like primary fire. Like, like poke damage. You don't really need to fortify that. Fortify if Winston Diva, six people jump on top of you, and that's really fortify. Um, your halt? Think about your halt like it's Roadhog's hook. As they start to around, every time you use it, it should be just a secure kill. Think about it like Roadhog's hook, where every time it's, that cooldown is, is available, you want to be getting a kill with it almost. Right there. There's really like three uses, or four uses, pulling people off high ground. Uh, environmental kills, 
pulling an exhibit in the environmental field. You are not getting away. And if you're facing if you're you and you're facing a line bar, you can kinda of just shoot him out just to just to like pull him back. Just to just to slow his approach and, and try to get more shield break on him. That's something really useful. Um, get behind the barrier. And then as far as like if somebody overextends a little bit and you kind of like you know you can call call a, call a focus fire on somebody and grab them. Your safety, please Think about when you think use shields. Your shield dancing is really good. One thing you can use uh, is shield stacking. If you have like a are up against a high damage comp, like a, a fair or a bank rat, and your shield keeps getting destroyed, keeps getting destroyed, and you feel like you have to like fortify the shield. Um, something you can do is place a shield, and then you can wherever you want the shield to be. Look straight up until you just can't look up anymore. For your own shoot a shield. Get behind the barrier. So if this shield Yeah, so if this shield is like right before a fight starts, this shield your shield's up. Team come jump rat fair come across the corner and, and they just start spamming you and the shield at like half. Please move behind the barrier. And you shoot that up right before the fight starts. You're gonna land with a fully fully fresh shield and your cooldown's gonna be on like three seconds. So it gives you more shield, shield strength, and shield up time. Wow. Um, you can also use it to block things like, like Ampy and Shatter to kind of trick people. Um, if you know that they have a Sombra and that she has EMP, and you feel like you just kind of have to get the timing right in your head, but you can just Sombra's probably going to get engaged. I mean, it takes like five seconds. Yeah, it takes five seconds. I think it's hitting the proof. Normally it takes longer, I think. Um, but if you do that, the EMPs will destroy the shield, but then you'll get a new shield. And if you don't want to wait that long, you can do things like that. If you see, see she's like, oh, she's just about to hack, she's in the hack animation, you can bounce. You can just bounce the shield like that. To try to, try to get it in between the gap of the EMP so your the EMP goes off and then and then your new shield deploys. And then you can use it to kind of trick Reinhardt into shatter. Halt. Playing Arissa against Reinhardt, one of the biggest things you have to worry about is shatter. So save fortify for like if you know he has shatter. So that way if he does get past the shield, at least you can stay up. Try to prevent him from killing you. But Say there's a shield here. Say the shield's already there. And I shoot a shield. Your own safety, get behind the barrier. The shield gets destroyed. And then it just kinda looks like I placed a new shield. So the Ryan thinks, oh, he like doesn't he just use shield, he doesn't have off cooldown. And you'll have it on a shorter cooldown, so you can kinda back up and kinda let him take the space. He'll think he's safe to use Earth Shatter, and then you can kinda, uh, Please move behind pop up the a barrier. new one real quick. Those are just kind of some, some, and then if you come into the training range and just practice, like, trying to pull that guy off, that'll help you with your, your, your halt accuracy, practice, practice, your aim, It'll give you an idea of how far your halts can be away, and then still be effective. No, no, up here. Sanctuary mixed up. The other players in the uh, normal game chat. Good, good Hello. Hey, you would make her. Niche hero. She's like really strong on some maps. In another maps, she's just kind of not strong. Ash. But she's still. I think she's still viable on all maps if you play her right. Um, but there's definitely maps where she's stronger. <clears throat> Junkrat Mercy Hanzo. Uh, we're gonna, uh, take, uh, take, uh, map our control. own top. Or, uh, 
Like point control. Everything's good. And then just kind of this weird thing happens where like people will get die and res and you just kind of stand around point and what the hell's going on. Mercy or Paul? Trying to uh, right hook on point, sorry. It's gonna happen. Your aim still is just slightly off there. Tracking. All this is good, what I'm what you're about to do here is good. You wait to fortify. You waited to fortify. Diva comes in behind you. You start to end hog, they put a lot of damage into you. You kind of redeploy your shield to try to block some stuff. Throw out your halt to try to group them. It's, it's, it's not bad. Um, and then you wait, and you're at, you're at 196 when you fortify. Or, uh, probably like 200 when you fortify. So, like, right when all of your armor gets taken off you, that's when you fortify. That, that's perfect. Because your brig can out heal on the air. So you play your mechanics and shield dancing. Oh, that's good. This is bad. See, now you're, now you're like, it's over. You kind of, you killed the DV, killed the Roadhog. I don't know if you killed the Tracer, but you kind of want to think about like reestablishing your bunker. And like anytime the fight feels like you have like a second, reestablish your bunker. Because right now you're, you're in a weird position. You're closer to the enemy side. You add a line of sight from your healers or any other support, and you're one v wanting a junk rat. The junk rat can easily just, if you do enough damage, he can back out, get a health pack. He, he's, it's a, you do almost, you get him like half, but, but you were like the odds of you actually finishing him off and securing the kill is is pretty low. And he's getting way more value just pumping rockets in you. And you were, you're like shield dancing when you could just, just stay on the side and you won't take any damage. So I think you just kind of like, just got done with a crazy fight. And you're just kind of like, you like, the fight's over. You just killed them. Their push is done. So this junk rat's just kind of, just staggering right now. So you want to reestablish your bunker. You're like the fight's over, it's okay to just play on this side of your shield. Now the Ana comes in. It's not the positions here's not bad. Uh, it'll probably be like a little bit closer to, to to your staircase. So if you have to just get off point, if they push too hard and you have to get off point, it's easier. Good. A nice, really good mercy kill. You hear a uh, rip tire. Um, so you fortify. Oh. And then you bongo. And I actually really like the bongo here because I like to try to use. There's two times I really try to use bongo, or three. One of them's when I feel like I've been holding on to it the whole game and I'm not doing anything, so I, I try to use it. Um, and I, but, but when I do that, I let my team know, hey, this fight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place my bongo. Just so there, nobody else is over ulting. Um, but when, you're, like, they're down a mercy, but they also just use the alt to, to, and they got your, your brig. So you kind of, your alt here is saying, like, just, kind of preventing them from, you know, investing in all kind of reestablishes the fight in your favor. Oh, I cease your resistance. Tire went off. Their healer's down, your healer's down. So it's it's like an even fight. I'm sure it's not because people are still staggering in because it's gold. But but in your head, it's a uh, still a fair fight. Oh, I cease your resistance. It's a good good use of the ult, and it, it gets value. Back in hold. It, it's, it's a tricky ult to use. I like to try to use it. I don't know how you use it there. Place it, place it right in front of you. I like to like just quickly 
try to turn around and place it behind me so it can't get destroyed. Um, and then the only other thing about the, the bongo to consider as far as the enemies is if they have a Moira, wait for the Moira ult to come out because her the Moira ult can pretty much just destroy your bongo instantly. One zip and place where you know it's going to get affect most of your team and it's also kind of hidden. I'm back in ult. But one of my favorite and one of my best times to use to use Bongo is when my if they have, if they and have a uh, Reinhardt and they nano him. The Reinhardt's and nano, he's going to want to be so super bright. aggressive. He thinks he's unstoppable because he has a nano boost. But your ult is going to completely like outweigh any any effect that John got top right as well. So the Reinhardt's gonna push in aggressively with Nano and just get destroyed because your team's dead. D run point oh no, D was top right. Broke hog left. But it's hard. It's it's an ult you have to really kinda of plan out and don't just panic use it because it can easily just be destroyed by anybody. You want to wait to have a shield or some sort of protection for it. Oh. And all, all that mechanics right there is a good shield. Alright. At this point you play Hammond. Oh. And it's disorienting to watch. But uh... Again, you, you can, I can see it again on this hero for you. It's your, your cooldown management and, and some of your awareness is just is just poor so if you just when you're in game think about every time you, you use you use an ability it needs to get a bunch of value see right there right here you shield which is actually the probably the best time you shield in the whole in the whole round because their whole team is right there and you're gonna get a bunch of shield charge except except the Zarya actually bubbles and blocks and blocks line of sight so you don't get that much shield you only get like a hundred shield because of the Zarya. Zarya bubbled it. Um, but there was still a large group of people and, and you meant to... And it w it would have gotten shield, shield and then that would be nice. I would have... So you want to know what the health packs are. Left and... There's two on the right side, one on the, the left the coast side. Um, so when you rolled through them, I would have just... Just kept holding W, carried my momentum. I either would have gone left or gone right. Especially not like you're antenated. Uh, you're, you already use shield and it didn't get a lot of value. So I would have rolled right or rolled left and picked up those health packs and then just came right back into the fight. But you kind of stayed. You stay too long. And you, you, you don't, you don't want to tank damage. You don't want to be in the front. You just kind of want to roll through and won't. Roll in and out. And and this is annoying and dumb, but it, it like it I, it is effective oh, to keep them you. off the point. No way. Also another thing is I mean you don't see you use pile driver I think at all in this round, and that's one of his most valuable. Uh, one of the most valuable damage dealing abilities is pile driver. So when you're playing him and think more vertically, don't think about swinging around. Think about like sw swooping up and dropping down. See right here, just a waste, just a wasted shield. And shield has 15 second cooldown. It gets no value when there's there's no real threat. It's just one person. I know I'm knowing repeating it a lot, your cooldown usage, but that's just it's try to try to recognize when there's a threat and when there's not. See right there you recognize that's bad. Fall back. Get out of there. Which is good. And you let your team know that there's no problem right now. Right here you're not aware of your health. You're sitting at like four hundred, health pack right in front of you, and you back away. Should have picked up the health. You can get it. It's a good use of your ult. You see him pushing in from that side, so you ult that side. But 
other times when you want to like, ult with him and you want to you want to swing up. Oh, and then use your pile driver to knock him up so they save them, so they land back in it. Um, but it's fine. He's kind of denied their denied their choke, denied that like, space for them. I just I don't want to watch this for too long. Careful. And then this happens where like you lost your ash. People are kind of coming in to the point. There's people on the left, people on the right. Your team spread out. Their team spread out. And you're just swinging around point right now. This isn't getting a lot of value. You're not like contributing. Not helping your team. People on your team are dying. You're not really helping them. You're not getting like full value. Uh, Russian bull is behind me. And you you get incredibly low, and you decide to just keep swinging on the floor. No, but should have you should have tried to roll out to another pack. You guys just still hold. I'm going for that. On that one as well. All right, and this, this first round of Hollywood. I know you, you play healer. It's not door. <laughs> Check both door. It's not your really role usually. So I'm not gonna like critique it too much. There are a couple. Of I, I was trying to kill the trap. I got the trap. I don't know if you noticed it. Look at how much, like just healing you're wasting. How much resources and cooldowns you're wasting. I try. I, was I know you want you, you you wanted to save him. You wanted to save Reaper. He died, but then you just. I, try, I was trying to kill the trap. Hold and heal. They're all. I got, I got the trap, trap, but I. Okay, they took fire strike. You healed them back up, and then you're just. I died in the process. Holding it on them. You've used all of your healing before. You've even really gotten into a full real fight. So you're holding it way too much. You try just like tapping it, tap tap tap. That's rockets to shit. Unless you know like your team is about to take. An extreme amount of damage, like your Reinhardt gets charged, then you can just dump, dump healing on him, and then you run out of healing. So in your brain, you need more healing, so you throw out a heal orb. So you just wasted your. Ton of damage. Out. Steve attack. When they're still at full health. Crap, but I, I died in the process. Of healing is needed. Throw out a That's rockets do a shit ton of damage. Yeah. Steve attack. So any damage that they take is. Then I would do it. Oh, yeah, I mean, and it's not your role you usually play, you like, wait for how many you can take. So I'm not gonna I got more back about it too much. It's just so, like, probably a very I'm not running this to its full potential at the same time. Just have abilities and just using them. So it's still very annoying. And right, we can start running Havoc. Purposefully try to think about like, what value is this gonna get? Before you have a plan of what's gonna happen as a result. And it happens a couple other times where you were just you're just feeling everybody that left. Run out to the right. It isn't it isn't a little bit down. You really wanna save your healing. Down. But it is I, I like that you're focused on him and you're not focused on on, on killing him. Good good Come on, see you Ryan. Do your roll. Ryan Hall coming in, junk right with him. And stupider. You're on the point. You have the MP? And this is kinda of like the awareness thing. Right there, Junkrat Tower killed two of your teammates. Think, think, just give up and just like think, restart, just start fresh. Like the fight's over the second you lose two of your people. Just you keep pushing in on them and stuff, and you just. Alright, I get your EMP ready for the next fight. Just go back to the squad and let your team know. Let's, let's go back. They got Ryan. They got Ryan. They got Ryan. And then this weird thing happens where everybody got. Kind of Ryan, kill, kill the Ryan behind us. Try. Use that to push your point. 
Are you at EMP? And, and this is fine for the defenders. It's, it's just wasting time. And they can keep kind of... You want to use EMP? You know. Get in position for it. Six versus two. Brian, I need you in front. Over. Ready. So especially as a tank, you want to be on regroup. <laughs> as a tank, you should go in first. So the fight should start. When the EMP launch. was too early. I, I need you to... I can't, I wasn't in position yet. I was waiting trying to get set up for it. Oh no, it just came off. Ryan Hack. When faced with a set of challenge our assumptions. Beyond. Not a great ult. You had just killed three of them. Fights over, the push is over, you got the point. You kind of ult just because you had it. I hacked Eva. See her stop the res, but it wasn't enough. Was a waste of an ult. I don't know why she did that. You had your point. Feed off, kill, kill her for feed. Feed off of her. If you had lost Get people in the fight, then they had lost some people in the fight. Then maybe you ult. Brian, what just happened? There. Junk out. Junk route. Alright, you have EMP. That's me. Damn it. And the diva was too far out of the ring. Should have that more. Damn it. And one thing I'm not really, I have, don't really see in any of your games with me. Kill the Ryan. They're showing me diva hat. I'm not being cabinet. You need to know what the other teams, what the other team has, and what you have on your team, and what alts they have. Alt tracking is like, I don't know. My version of alt tracking is, hmm, I haven't seen this alt in like a minute. They might have it. It's always better just to default that they have it, even if. They <laughs> Soldier behind. I'm playing tank, I like to know him. I like to know what the enemy is. Junk one! What I'm gonna be. Not anymore because you're getting pocketed. Engaging with the most of the time. Junk one. Junk one. Against the other tank. Unless it's being dive. Okay. I'm stunned. I'm that's it. That, that's GG for me. You wanna know how bad it is. Aggressive you can be. When, when you're playing tank, so you can do it. Still got 57 seconds. How much healing is there? How close to read EMP? Um, 63%. And the same for the enemies. You want to know what healers they have so you know, you know, they have low healing. We can just be super aggressive. Their DPS are retarded. They picked Sombra and, Tr and Doomfist to counter us. To, uh, to keep it big to. Uh, Oh, okay. The, no, this over five thousand healing, and I've still only got silver healing. Gloss, is this your main account? Yeah. Me? Oh, him. You should be able to get the platinum problem, dude. Seriously, with that, those heals. Thanks. Well, that's really good usage, Alicia. I've never already played Lucio until this season. Running yeah. with a bastion again. All right. Here's fine. I have a really stupid idea. Okay. There's like. I don't know what I want to say. So there's kind of like three, three feasible positions in 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 the whole game. Um, let's see if I can find. Yeah. Me. Oh, him. You should be able to get the plat. There's up here. There's just down right on the low ground, and then there's back. Back in the cat. No problem, dude. Seriously, with that, those heals. Like behind the point. So well, that's like really good usage, Alicia. Possible position. I've already played these heals until this season. As Arissa. Yeah. High ground's fine, because it's going to give you good sight lines, especially right. Bastion. I have a really like stupid idea. Them. Okay. Yeah. In gold, there won't be but I'm just send it. enough to really. Okay, you're doing that. To push in against an Arissa up here. And if you're on the high ground, they've got a reaper up there with you. You have the option to drop to the low ground. 
well, if you're on the low ground. So... You can really get up. Where's that for a... Uh... High ground easily. Alright, I took down Mercy, and, and they're gonna have to heal uh, uh, Winston, because he's super low. And I already have 40% of ult. Uh, Winston, because he's super low. He's fine. I like to have a... I don't know if I mentioned it when you play when I play Arisa and I'm with a bash and I'm I already have forty percent hold right behind him. Sometimes I'm standing in front of him here. On on Anubis you were doing it doing it great. You're standing like right here. Cause this this blue blue little crit box, you get to protect if you're kinda standing behind him, you can kinda body block and protect that. And it frees up his line of sight so the Bastion can see everything he wants. And you you can still see. You can see above him, he can't see above you. The only time you want to really get in front of your Bastion is if you know your shield's about to break and you don't have another shield to replace it, so you need to like forty fortify and like body block them a little bit. So another thing I don't know if I mentioned about fortify. Yes, you want to use it in situations where you know you're going to die, but you can also use it to like take space or just sustain. You have like in between, if you don't have another shield up, you know, fortify just till you get that shield up, so you don't, you know, so the team doesn't doesn't act upon that that um, that moment when when you're without shield, they don't punish that and 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 burst you down. So fortify for that. Fortify to like if you're doing a wrestle on attack, which isn't always the best, but if you need help like pushing forward and taking space, you can fortify like that. Instant coming through. I hope I'm being helpful and not just random. But there's just like a, a lot, there's a lot to think about. Pharmacy's back up. Anytime you use an ability, you want to like know its purpose and not just use it. I think that alone will get. I'm dropping down. Once you're fine, you're fine. Help, help, help the Bastion, help the Bastion, help the Bastion. They're, they're wasted fortify. They're just help, help out. the Bastion. So you, you see what you're doing. Bastion, you help the Bastion, help the Bastion. Like, you go, oh, there's D.Va. You kind of panic. Bastion. But the, ba she's not even, not even shooting at you. Coming. Sorry. That's a good pulse. Keep the gate. From top. Bastion, the far is your job. On the high ground. I'm not jumping off. Got Reaper coming up again. Those rules are insane, thank you. Genji, why are you diving me? I literally am a counter to you. Oh, they straight behind you. They have no res, but they res the guy I killed, so you, you, guys, you guys are down one and they're up one. That's not good. Not good. I need that Diva DMAC by the time I get there and I can save this. Drop down to the punt. Is Diva DMAC? Drop down to the I need the belt to you. You you drop. You get or you get you get booped. Oh, they should be re behind you. Set up, which I would probably have just just set up there and held the corner and maybe shot my pole up to try to pull that Lucio down. Let me try to go back up. They have no res, but they find their kind of whole team is pushing pushing up the guy around to take kill to you. You guys are down one. Which they do. Yeah, they're up one. That's not good. Fortify. Not good. Uh, have to, because that's when you want to fortify. That's the guy I killed. So you for for. You guys, you guys are when you want to fortify damage. Down one. And they're up one. That's not good. It's when they're good. Not, not good. I need that diva demac by the time I get. You recognize that this is, you know, your cooldowns are are gone. You need to get off this high ground. Just you you can give them space as a tank sometimes. You know, I know tanks. Don't only have to take space. They can kind of give. There, I can save. If it's not worth this, I mean, make the right call. Drop down to the punt. Let your team know. Is Diva Max? Yeah. 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 How many people are on point? The break from Winston. Winston, all of. I like the bongo. The break from Winston. Because you, your Bastion's dead still. No, 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 you were funny. Winston, no, no. 
want to just cut again. Free brick super low. Good shit, Don. And you had good reaction time. I don't know if you fortified because of the barrage, but you fortified because you realized, realized you kind of needed to change path. You know, when like movies, people just like keep running long ways against the falling object. You, Free brick you super low. Realized, oh, I'm so sorry. You have a lot of good Free Bridge super low. Awareness. Good pull. Good shit, Sombra. Or not Sombra. Uh, Symmetra. Ooh, gold stream. Phelan's is gone. Sim popped off. I don't know. Nah, that'll be me, actually. She has 150. Wait, Arissa? One of yep. Biggest issues, like, I, I, like, you like me. Winston Jones is his own. Unless you know you I have, have like, just a good opportunity to, to reload. Alright, what else haven't they used yet? Don't. Try not to reload. Diva Bomb. Very often. It, 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 that's something I need. See, so you had 115. Like, if they kept pushing in, you could have not reloaded. Reaper beyond. My turn. Bollocks. That's partially like. Yeah, that happens. It's gold, you know, sometimes, you know. The Reaper all did kill your whole team. It happens, but it's one of those things where it's like, it is it is preventable if you pull tab, check the enemy team. <laughs> what if. I can tell you right now, um, I've seen them use. They used Primal. They used. Mm, they maybe use bomb. Let's just they would let's say they have bomb then because I haven't I don't know. Um, I did see barrage, so they don't. They <laughs> have barrage. Uh, they used Lucio B. Um, they probably have Junkrat tire and and they had uh, Reaper, Reaper, right? It's. Right, what else haven't they used for, yet? For three minutes, you know, Reaper probably has his ult by now. Diva bomb. You know where Reaper is, you know, do a 360 check. You know, he could be in a. He's, think about the situation. Like Reaper has an alt. Where is he gonna try to? How how would Reacher Reaper approach getting his alt off? He's not just gonna walk into us and alt. If it was Ferris Barrage, you'd think, oh, she's gonna come up over top, or she's gonna like. In gold, anytime anybody has an alt, they go for like a flank. If you know somebody has an ult, a damage, damage dealer, especially like a positive ult, look behind you. Reaper beyond. My turn. Bollocks. <laughs> it's, it, it's hard and it feels weird, like, because naturally you just kind of, you're just playing the game and you're just auto Baby Diva's the only one left. Make it like a oh no, there's three. Looking at their team. But they're all small. Well, it's two. It's yeah, Lucio, yeah, Mercy, and Baby Baby Diva. Kind of coordinate your own team. Say, hey, Bastion ult this fight, so that way we're not all ult. Already got forty percent of my next ult. Fortified too early. Should have should have saved it for higher damage. Good pull. You try to you know almost got the. Uh, the the Winston, but you got the Lucio and then you you secure the kill. So that's also why pull is good or halt. I call it pull a lot um, because it it pulls. You know, if the team is like split or you like your team's having a hard time like focusing one target, you just pull them all and then just your team doesn't have a choice. They have to shoot this. If you put all the enemies in one spot, something will get Last fight. Bongo. Diva does not want to be in at all. Mm -hmm. GG. Thank you. So a lot of it. <laughs> but it definitely looks like gold. Um, it definitely looks like gold. Um, but if you just work on your cooldown usage, um, it's kind of hard to tell from the game clip sent. Um, but work on regrouping because you'll need regrouping when you hit platinum you're not gonna stay in platinum if you don't have good 6v6 fights the game the game kind of changes from gold to platinum people are trying to be more aware so if you want to get to platinum you also have to be more aware
so I, I I hope some of what I said made made sense, um, and you're able to, you know, try to implement some of these things in your games and start getting more comfortable doing some of these things. Um, and, you know, I'd be up to watching your videos again. If you wanted to send me some more, a couple weeks, we can we can kind of follow you and track your progression if you want. Um, but uh, GG.